So in my last video, I worked through the enable features, which is one of the most important steps in your setup process. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to look at bundles, installed bundles, what have been, what has been installed and what do I want to install. Now, from experience, I know there's a number of bundles here that I definitely want to install. And so let's go to NetSuite and let's see what is already installed. So I'm going to go to Customization, Suite Bundler, Search and Install Bundles, and then I'm going to look at the list. Right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got Electronic Bank Payments. Right, so I'm going to mark this one as done. Good. Um, I do not appear to have file drag and drop here. Um, last sales at Curdy. Don't have that either. click on it and what this bundle does for you is it looks at all your CRM activities and it shows you what was the last one that was that happened and the date so that you know how long it was since your last CRM contact so I'm going to install this one yes happy to give that um, approval there right, so I'm going to go back and mark This withholding tax I'm not going to install at the moment. I don't lead, need that for the moment. This bank one is important. Let's see if I can do that. So then I'm going to click install bundle. Right, and you will see here it says pending. All right. And if you refresh, it'll say pending. And if, if you keep refreshing at some point, you're going to see it's going to start count down there of a percentage level of how much has been installed. So I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, payment gateway. I think we had payment gateway already in. There it is. Okay, so payment gateway is done. Excellent. Support assistant. Don't see that one. Don't see that. Uh, there it is. So the NetSuite support assistant is let's say an additional help that is not help and it's not sweet answer just kind of combines the two and it feels a little bit like you're talking to um i guess an agent right um so let's go and install that one right i agree and while that's happening i'll go to the next one Now this sub navigator is one that I normally install on my NetSuite One World accounts. That is very handy to limit your view to just one subsidiary in the case where you have access to multiple subsidiaries. So that's why I've grayed this one out because this is a Jacob account which only has one subsidiary. So that's not relevant for this implementation. So I'm gonna install that bundle. Uh, right, so now you can see there's two of them that's pending. 
right. In the meantime, I'm going to go and see if I can find the file drag and drop, which is very, very handy one. I would say that's almost mandatory if you want to attach any files at all um, easily. So there's file drag and drop. Number of installs, 10,000. So it's always very handy to look at the number of installs in a case like this. You can see both of those bundles have the same name, but you don't want to go and install this bundle. Because you can see this has only been installed 14 times and it's one that I don't haven't really seen before. So this one looks like it's been installed a bunch of times. So happy to install that. So I'm going to go and install that one. Install. Okay. After the file drag and drop, you will have to go through a reasonably simple setup process. that I will run through in one of the videos that will follow in due course. Alright, so let's drag and drop. That one I don't need for the moment. until I finish the last one that one we did yesterday got to mark it off bank statements I'll do later and that one I'll do later so let's just now go and see right so now you can see these three bundles installing at this point in time all right and that last sales activity was the first one we started and so if I refresh there, you'll see that is now done 15%. Uh, oh, sorry. Last sales activity is now completely done. You can see there's a tick there. So it's all good. Um, support assistance is done 15%. If I refresh, that should be yeah, further 58. So they will just keep installing until they're done. If there's an issue, you'll see a red cross there. And then you'll have to investigate and figure what your issue is there. Alright, so any bundle that you want to install, you're going to go and search for that bundle and you're going to install it just like I showed you.